I'm Emily Niebuhr at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Today we have a very active weather map. We have one low that's weakening across the Chukchi Sea at 996 millibars. It's a weakening cold front stretches all across the mainland down to the Alaska Peninsula. And it's bringing light snow showers in the area within in the Bristol Bay and Kuskokwim Delta area as well. Uh, the main story that is going to be occurring this weekend, there's a significant low pressure system that's at 979 millibars now, just entering into the bearing, but this storm is going to increase rapidly tonight. Meanwhile, we have high pressure uh, in across the panhandle, so keeping conditions fairly calm in that part of our state. Again, the nine the low intensifies to 957 rapidly tonight, late tonight, as it moves into the Bering Sea. Its associated um, fronts are going to be draped across much of the Bering and bringing widespread rain in the south and snow showers across much of the Kuskokwim Delta, Bristol Bay, and Seward Peninsula um, starting late tonight. I also have a weakening low pressure system that's going to be moving into the panhandle and bringing some light rain and snow showers mixed across the area. By Saturday morning, we have several uh, warnings and advisories in effect. Uh, the main concern will be winter storm warnings for heavy snow, blowing snow, uh, with winds gusting as high as 55 miles per hour in the Bering Strait coast. So be aware in those areas, tra travel is going to be dangerous and Again, with those frontal systems, we are going to be seeing widespread heavy precipitation, mainly snow in northern parts of the Bering, but also really strong gusty winds as well. Meanwhile, high pressure remains in effect across the mainland tomorrow. By Sunday, the low pressure system um, continues to drift well into the Chukchi, and we have uh, a frontal system continues to move into the mainland Alaska. So again, we are expecting those uh, warnings to remain in effect all of Sunday across much of, um, again, the Bering Sea coast, the Seward Peninsula, and Kuskokwim Delta areas due to a mix of strong winds and precipitation. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Emily Niebuhr.